revealing Megan's sinister plot for constantly delaying Lily's christening for two years without any baptism. Hello friends, welcome to Breaking Royal News about the notorious hypocritical couple Harry and Meghan Markle on our Kate Middleton and the Queen News version 2 channel. We know this has been wrangled over since Lily was born. She remained unchristened for over two years as a result. Harry and Meghan felt that the best course of action was to have as royal a baptism as they could on their own after receiving the firm rejection, whether it was when they came for the Jubilee or more recently. They didn't have a regular priest at a church close to their house because they had a bishop instead of the Archbishop of Canterbury and they had a famous person as their godfather instead of a monarch. Wait to promote the prince and princess titles offered after the queen's death until the baby's christening in order to promote the idea of monarchy. The key aspect is that they did not achieve their full wish list. They want what the royal family and Archie enjoyed while they were still employed as royals. They received a no. They couldn't be prevented from dressing up for a royal baptism by King Charles III, but they weren't given one. Another indication that he would treat them like a family, but only as a family, is this. Why do you think they waited this long to baptize the girl? They were waiting for an apology and invitation, which they will never get. The fact that King Charles and the rest of the royal family do not comment on their asinine antics proves that they are the ones at fault in a big way. The titles were the kids from the day King Charles became king, and it was up to them to choose to use or not use. Do they actually think anyone cares? No, not really, because they are not working royals, and the children will not be working royals, so they will not be afforded anything extra from the royal family by having titles. It proves to the world what hypocritical shits they really are. And I will comment on her pap walk. What a joke that was. She looked so unduchess like with her black on black clothing and the ugly pointy toed white shoes. She has no idea how to dress or behave. She will never be as graceful or elegant as Catherine, and Harry is really losing his marbles. He is cut off from his family and good for him to roast them and make all these accusations and then expect to ever be invited to the inner sanctum again. He and Meghan can never be trusted. Let's look back to the way they've been ostracized by the palace. Strike one, the Jubilee, where yes, the queen met Lily, but no photos were allowed. Strike two, they were seated with Beatrice and Eugenie at the Thanksgiving service and not with William and Catherine, so there was no interaction or photos. Strike three, they were not part of the carriage procession. Strike four, they were not allowed on the balcony with the family. Strike five, there was no arrival to the UK photo fest because they were collected by car at a private airport. It's like as sinners, we have a duty to unveil her fake narratives, not back them up. They didn't win anything. She had some ordinary christening in LA. She wanted a long time to do it because she couldn't do the royal affair she wanted. Also, who attended this christening? Who are the godparents? If it was an important Hollywood event, you can bet your sweet ass she'd have paps all over it. Probably no one came. I had a feeling that she was going to try something like this and invite all the people she thinks are friends. If she had her christened this weekend, then she had the plans in the work since Ellen's birthday party. She definitely invited people there, or at least save the dated with them. I bet she was blown off. And I bet that King Charles told them it was now or never. I wonder if the christening was necessary to give them the titles. If so, maybe Charles said, now or never, get her christened immediately and I'll give them the titles. If you wait any closer to the coronation, the answer is going to be no. Now she's trying to spin it like a victory tour. But where are all her friends? Where are the paps gate crashing the church? I know releasing pictures of the christening would ruin her whole narrative of trying to protect the kids. But who throws a christening while her husband is off on business? Why no after-the-fact announcement? Something's fishy here. Seems to me that they threw it together at the last minute and no one of significance was there. 
This is a very good point. The titles don't mean anything without the connection to the royal family. This is why Fergie never remarried. I think of it as someone who's been divorced twice, like when you finally have had enough to not care about trying to fix it anymore and just want out. When you get to that point, you aren't even triggered or defensive about what someone might say to you or about you to others. You know who you are and you trust that others know you too. So in the middle of an argument, if the person starts throwing all kinds of old history in your face, you must agree to it. Yes, I'm a liar. Yes, I'm selfish. Yes, I'm crazy. Yes, I'm toxic. Got it. When the fight is really over, it doesn't matter who wins or who's right. When you just want out from under a narcissist, it doesn't matter anymore. And the minute you stop and they keep the world going to the entire world, eventually the world sees who the real problem is. We also need to remember that the Harkles may have won this battle, but they've not won the war, as the saying goes. It's a technicality that they've grabbed hold on for dear life and waited for a significant day, POW Day with the 1st Battalion Irish Guards, International Women's Day, and the six-month anniversary of the Queen's passing to release their PR torrent again. I'm not holding my breath, but I am waiting to see what happens in the long run. There are too many signs of the early stages of divorce coming from Meghan. Harry is clearly mentally unwell and an addict, in my opinion, and the British royal family as an institution is busy planning a coronation. I really don't see the Harkles still together in a year's time. They may be in an ugly, bitter divorce battle, but I can't see their marriage lasting into 2025. That's allowing time for the divorce to be finalized. I see Harry with the kids coming back to the UK next calendar year to live a quiet life so the kids get the best upbringing and care, and Harry can get the help he needs to move on with his life without a dependency on mind-altering illegal drugs. Megan, meanwhile, will do a diva-level swooning victim narrative on all the talk shows. She'll write a book and give interviews to all the magazines about how she tried but couldn't help Harry, and the evil firm took her children as she just couldn't find them in the courts because they're so rich and devious, but she'll do all that she can to remind her little prince and princess that she loves them dearly and they're always in her heart. One commenter said, Totally agree. They're baggage for her after a divorce. One more thing in her way to try to nab another rich spouse. With all the various posts were as level-headed as this strong. Way too many people hate King Charles, the royal family, etc. Honestly, they got what they already had and made themselves look pretty stupid and contradictory at the same time. The C-list christening, etc. And King Charles and William have much more important issues to deal with, with that have nothing to do with the duo. What's left for them to complain about now? I know they'll find something dumb for whining. It's like swatting the annoying fly just to get it out of the way so you can continue your work. And what none of the sky is falling posts consider is what might they have to agree to get this? This was meaningless to King Charles and William, but gave them a great leverage over the duo. What do you think about Harry and Meghan's sinister plot when they delayed Lily's christening for the past two years? Let us know your thoughts below in the comment section. We hope you found this video helpful. Don't forget to leave a like, share, and subscribe to the channel if you like it. Thank you for watching this newsletter. See you in the next videos. Goodbye.